And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a silhouette. The selection is the most important step and there are many ways to do it. Check out my GIMP playlist and you will find videos about all of these selection tools. But you should be using the pens on the photo that you've got. In this case the fuzzy select works. If I left click I've got this effect and if I hold shift while left clicking I can add parts to the selection. You can see that right here even the small parts. Sometimes the deselect doesn't work that well, so if I hold control and left click, it doesn't really catch all of the parts, so we'll have to work our way around it. By the way, you'll find this image via description link below, so that you can try it on the very exact same photo. Now we're good for the next part. Let's open a layer. Not a group, a layer. I'll call it silhouette and I make it transparent. Make sure that it's on top of your image and it's selected so we are on it in the layers menu and if I left click with the paint bucket tool black is the foreground color. The background is black but we want the guy in the forefront to be black so we'll have to go to select and invert our selection. And if I now left click we've got what we wanted. As I've said there are some smaller adjustments that we need to make. Let me create a new layer, I'll call it white and I'll make it white and I'll put it below our silhouette. And now you can see small parts that we need to work on and there's also a cutout that we need to take care of. Let us go to our silhouette layer, right click on it and add a layer mask. We'll make it full opacity, so white. And now we'll use the brush tool. We have black as a foreground color and make sure that you are on the layer mask and not the layer itself. I'll increase the hardness to 100. And I'll make the size, uh, let's go to 14 for this one. On that way I can use black as a foreground color on the layer mask to make stuff disappear. Here's our cutout. Let us reduce the opacity. I'll make the white invisible. So here you can see the cutout. We'll need to add that as well. So again, make sure that you're on a layer mask right here for the silhouette layer. And then paint over it with the black color. And it makes it see through. Let me go down with the size even more. And we've increased the hardness so that we don't have a feathering of this effect. And now it looks fine. Let me increase the opacity again. And we can definitely live with that. If you want to export it, always export it as a PNG so that we have the transparent background in it. So for example, call it silhouette.png. And in this case, obviously, I also have to make the white background and the original invisible. And now we've got the silhouette with the transparent background created in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.